you have keepsakes at home that need special care? In this video series, we'll talk about museum preservation methods and how you can incorporate these principles into the home. While it has become less common for people to have silverware collections in their homes today, you may have inherited or collected pieces and are unsure how to properly care for them. With the following methods, you can ensure your celebratory silverware is bright and safely stored and ready for use. While these preserving methods will help to extend the life of your silverware, don't be afraid to use your cutlery set at your next special meal. When you bring special objects back into use, you add your own personal memories to their history. Frequently used, cleaned, and properly stored silver can actually reduce the need for repeated tarnish removal. Here are some examples of silverware from our collection which may be similar to items you have at home. This silver flatware set was used as early as 1910 in Canada Pacific Railway dining cars. Cutlery sets like these would have been used on the trains traveling through Mission to and from Vancouver and Eastern Canada. This set is in good condition and will only need a light cleaning. This 1931 May Day Trophy is an example of a heavily tarnished silver plated artifact. It can be difficult to remove all discoloration from heavily tarnished items without the risk of causing permanent damage particularly with silver plated items. For this reason, we will not be polishing this valuable object from our collection. However, we will cover the materials used for heavy tarnish removal if you find it suitable for your items. Keep in mind that in this video, we will only cover procedures for cleaning lightly tarnished silverware. Please proceed with caution if you decide to treat your heavily tarnished pieces. You will need a few inexpensive and readily available materials to properly care for your silverware. You may not need all of these items, and this will depend on the type of object you are polishing and the level of tarnish. They are polishing cloths or gloves for lightly tarnished items, we will be using Haggerty Silversmith gloves for our larger pieces, but polishing cloths work well for small items such as jewelry. Polishing paste or foam for medium to heavy tarnish. For a polishing paste, look for Twinkle or Silvo. And for a polishing foam or dip, look for brands such as Haggerty or Goddard's. Polishing chemicals and cloths can be purchased through fine jewelers or hardware stores. Phosphate-free dish soap, which includes most eco-friendly brands. Silver anti-tarnish strips. Polyethylene bags, which includes most types of plastic zip-top bags purchased from the supermarket. Acid-free tissue paper, which can be found at your local paper supplier or craft store. Nitrile gloves. And a microfiber cloth. You're likely wondering, what causes tarnish? Pollutants in the air cause corrosion on metal objects, which we see as a grey or yellow tarnish on the surface of the object. Heavy tarnish will appear as a dark iridescent purple or black. Tarnish is removed from silverware by polishing with an abrasive chemical cleaning agent. Before you begin treating objects, Check your silverware for manufacturer's hallmarks or stamps to determine if the piece is sterling silver or silver plated. Avoid using a silver dip on plated objects because concentrated dips can erode away the silver layer. Before handling your object, put on gloves to avoid transferring the natural but corrosive oils and salts from your hands onto the metal surface. You may choose to use polishing gloves or nitrile gloves for liquid polishes. If you don't have gloves, make sure to wash your hands thoroughly before handling your items. Wrap wooden components or attachments with a cloth or tissue paper to avoid damage. Lightly tarnished items only require gentle polishing. 
polishing gloves are best for very light tarnish or polishing touch-ups, while the foam provides a more thorough cleaning. When using polishing gloves, gently buff the surface of the object in circular motions. When using the polishing foam, apply a small amount of the substance to a damp cloth. Gently buff the surface of the object using circular motions. There's no need to completely remove all tarnish, as minor tarnish and decorative elements can provide a bit of visual contrast and character. Because polishing is an abrasive and chemical process, wash your polished items with water and a phosphate-free detergent, and dry with a microfiber cloth to remove polish residue. Using a dry cloth, buff in circular motions to restore shine. If your silver object has fine decorations like engraving or embossing, gently remove polishing residue from the divots with a water-soaked toothpick. After polishing and washing, wrap each silverware object in a piece of tissue large enough to fold into a couple layers around the object. Place your tissue-wrapped objects in a zip-top bag, leaving enough space so that the objects lie in a flat, single layer. An anti-tarnish strip can be placed in bags, boxes, or cases to protect silverware from corrosion for up to six months. Store the filled bags in a low humidity environment, such as a cool, dry closet, away from the kitchen and other heat sources. Here are some extra tips to help extend the life of your items. Avoid storing silverware in an uncoated wood box or cabinet and away from wool, felt, or velvet fabrics, which can accelerate tarnishing. Remember that it's possible to over-polish or over-clean your silver. Frequent light cleanings are better than letting tarnish set in between each cleaning. Hand wash all silverware with phosphate-free soap and water after each use. Do not place silverware in a dishwasher. After completing these steps, you will be able to achieve bright and clean silverware ready for use, avoid unnecessary corrosion of silver material from harsh polishing treatments, create a tarnish resistant storage environment, and enjoy your silver pieces for years to come. Stay tuned for the next installment of Using and Preserving Your Keepsakes. Thank you for watching.